We're headed to the 300 level of concourse. Two on your side cameras were the first to see the uppermost concourse of the new Bill Stadium. The freshly poured concrete marking a turning point for construction. The seating you'll see as soon as we get out here. Where everything seating. above it will be higher than Highmark Stadium, Frank Cravada is senior vice president of New Stadium Design. Uh, wow. Very few people will be able to get up here prior to 2026. So, Off to his right, the first deal for 300 level seating is going in. Eventually, Cravada said staircases from the concourse will lead fans to the top row and where the canopy will be constructed. Each level of the new stadium, he said, giving fans a different experience. Down on the 100 level, you'll feel, it'll sound, you'll feel the players warming up, there'll be more energy. Up here, it's just the, ex the huge expanse of the structure. It's more of the awe. Especially with a view like this, from one of the party decks in the 300 level concourse. Until you get up there the first time, you know, you know it, it but it, you, you can feel it. Yeah. And as you can see, it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's one of several spaces designed for Bill's Mafia not to be tethered to their seat. Both the lower and upper concourses will wrap around the stadium, making it easy to get from one bar at one end to the other. With plenty of reminders, you're in Bill's country. One of Terry's edicts was, if you draw me anywhere in that stadium, I want to know I'm in Buffalo. John Polka is vice president of stadium development. Go grab a drink, hang out for a little bit. In the wintertime, those are the areas where we've concentrated the radiant heat. Polka and Cravada explain that instead of having concessions and bathrooms along the inside of the stadium like Highmark is set up. We've moved all of that to the perimeter, gotcha. right? So you don't have the barriers. So you don't have the barrier okay. and it helps block the wind when we do that. So we're moving all of that out to the outside of the building. Which will keep the field in view like here along the lower concourse, where precast risers start to make this construction site feel more like a stadium. The next step in these areas really is going to be the seats in a year or so. I think when people come inside, the proximity, their proximity to the field, whether they're walking around the stadium or they're in their seats, is really going to be what they take away. Heading down to the field, the stadium rises up around you, steeper and more intimidating by design, Polka said. Eventually, two layers will be stacked on top of the bedrock, to reach the height of the playing surface. Shorter than that, we probably only, yeah, probably only have uh, a foot to 12 inches that will come up from here. Steel and precast concrete risers and stairs will continue to go in through this summer and into the start of football season. There are about 500 professionals on site daily, Polka said, but once the canopy starts going up this fall. The crew sizes are gonna continue to ramp up to about 1,200 by next spring. So things are really gonna to continue to ramp up from now throughout the season and into the spring and summer of next year. It's work these Buffalonians and their team don't take lightly, appreciating these moments and what they're building for the entire Bills fan base. The days are so busy and the weeks are so short and then you finally come out here and you're like, man, this is pretty cool. A new home built for and by members of Bills Mafia, who are eager for the first family gathering in 2026. First family gathering, yeah, we got what you did good, there. Pretty good, right? Bill's Mafia <laughs> yeah. family, nice plan words there. But yeah, guys, it was incredible to see this, and especially being up at that level where a lot of folks are going to be you know, getting tickets to right. a level. That's kind of my bread and butter. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it'll be nice to, to get that view with uh, the whole place done. So, yeah, yeah, and we know you're a neighborhood kid, grew up in Orchard Park, yeah. so I know you have a vested interest like every other member of Bill's Mafia. But what did the planners say about the schedule? Are they behind? Are they trying to catch up? They had an easy winter, that's for sure. Yeah, that really helped them yeah. out. It was kind of a funny thing. We've heard from the state that they're ahead of schedule. Uh, John Polka there, who's more the construction guy, it's a little more cautious. He said they're never really ahead of schedule, rather comfortably on schedule. Oh, smart man. <laughs> so, you know, construction can get out of hand pretty quickly. They're going to keep trudging along, though. And uh, yeah, 2026, the deadline to get this pretty thing impressive, open. though, huh? pretty good. Very impressive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, pretty cool to see it start from just the designs yeah. that you saw and now uh, to this point looking a lot more like a stadium. Well, they took you to some places we've never seen before. Yeah, no great. one in Buffalo has seen before. So yeah. great get. That'll Thank change. you, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very true. Thank you.